Welcome to CSA Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement insertion shot. Consider this unsorted array and this array we need to shot with the help of insertion shot algorithm. What is insertion shot algorithm? In insertion shot algorithm, initially the array, the given array will be divided into two parts. One array will be considered as the shorted array and another array will be considered as the unsorted array. In every iteration, one element from the unsorted array will be compared with the sorted list of elements and that will occupy the right position in the sorted list. Likewise, in every iteration or every pass, we will tell it. Okay. So, in every pass, one element will be taken from the unsorted array and that element will be compared with all the elements in the sorted array. And then that particular element will occupy the right position in the sorted array. Likewise, it will take n minus 1 pass and in each pass, one element will get decreased in the unsorted array and that will be added in the right position in the sorted array. After n minus 1 pass, all the elements will be in the sorted array. Okay, and we will get the sorted list of elements by implementing the insertion sort. So, consider this unsorted array and for this unsorted array, we need to implement the insertion sort algorithm. So, consider pass 1. So, in first pass, this array will be divided into two halves. Okay, so one will be considered as the sorted array and another will be considered as the unsorted array. Initially, the first element will be in the sorted array and the remaining all the elements will be in the unsorted list. So, 14 will occupy the sorted list and remaining all the elements will be in the unsorted list. Now, implement pass 1. Okay, in the first pass, Consider the first element in the unsorted list that will be compared with the elements in the sorted list and that will occupy the right position in the sorted list. Okay. So, when you are implementing pass 1, 14 and 33 will be compared. 14 is the smallest element that will occupy the first location. 33 is the largest element that will occupy the next location. Okay. Now, 14 and 33 will be in the sorted list and remaining all the elements will be in the unsorted list. So, this is pass 1. Next, implement pass 2. Now, in pass 2, consider one element in the unsorted list. That is the first element in the unsorted list. That will be compared with all the elements in the sorted list and that will occupy the right position in the sorted list. Okay, compared to 25, 14 is the smallest element. So, this will occupy the first location. Okay, and compared to 33, 25 is smallest. So, it will occupy next location. Next comes 33. Okay, now 3 elements occupied in the sorted list and remaining all the elements will be in the unsorted list. Okay, this is second pass. Now, we are implementing third pass. In the third pass, consider one element in the unsorted list that will be compared with all the elements in the sorted list. Okay. So, compared to 16, 14 is the smallest. So, that will occupy the first location. Compared to 25, 16 is the smallest. So, that will occupy the next location. Next, if you are considering 25 and 33 is already shorted. Okay. So, next is 25 and next is 33. Okay. And... The sorted elements in the list are 14, 16, 25 and 33 and the remaining elements in the unsorted list is 35, 12, 20, 45 and 29. Okay. Now, implement pass 4. So, here if you are considering how many elements there are, n is equal to 9 elements. Okay. After n minus 1 pass, that is after 8th pass, all the elements will be in the sorted list. Okay. So, if you are implementing fourth pass, element 35 will be compared with all the elements in the sorted list. So, 14 will occupy first, next 16, next 25, 33 and 35 is the largest element. So, that will occupy the last location in the sorted list. So, next is in unsorted list 12, 20, 45 and 29. Now, consider element 12 and that will be compared with all the elements in the sorted list and that will be considered as pass number 5. So, now 12 is the smallest element compared to 14. So, 12 will occupy now and the remaining elements in the sorted list. This is already sorted only. Okay. So, this will occupy the next next location in the sorted list. So, 14 will occupy next, next 16, next 25, next 33 and next 35. And the remaining elements is now, it is 20, 45 and 29. Okay. Now, implement pass 6. 
consider one element in the unsorted list that will be compared with all the elements in the sorted list. So now 12 will occupy here, 14 and 16. These are all the smaller element compared to 20. Now 25 and 20 when you are comparing, 20 is the smallest element that will occupy here. Next comes 25, 33 and then 35. Now only two elements in the unsorted list. Okay, and the next pass, pass 7 if you are considering in the sense, consider element 45. That will be compared with all the elements in the sorted list. And at the end of pass 7, 45 will occupy the right position in the sorted list. So, 45 is the greatest element compared to all the elements in the sorted list. So, it will occupy this position only. Okay. So, now if you are considering only one element in the sorted list. So, pass 8 if you are considering in the sense 29 will be compared with all the elements in the sorted list. Now, 12 will occupy the first position, 14 next, 16 next and 20 next, next to 25. These are all the smaller elements compared to 29. So, when you are comparing with the 33, 29 is the smallest. So, 29 will occupy this position and 33 next, 35 next and then 45 next. Okay. So, now at the end of 8th pass, all the elements occupied its right position in the sorted list. Now, unsorted list is empty. Okay. So, this is the logic of insertion short algorithm and this is the procedure to implement. So, here in insertion short, first the given array will be divided into two halves. But initially, the first element will occupy the sorted list and the remaining all the elements will be in the unsorted list. Okay. In every pass or every iteration, one element in the unsorted list will be compared with the sorted list and that will occupy the right position in the sorted list. So, likewise, in every pass, one element will be taken from the unsorted list and it will be compared with the sorted list. So, at the end of every pass, one element will be included in the sorted list and one element will be decreased in the unsorted list. Okay, and this procedure continues for n minus 1 pass. At the end of n minus 1 pass, all the elements will occupy the sorted list. Okay, so this is nothing but insertion short algorithm. Okay, thank you for watching this video.